What up everyone, I'm my name is Storm. In today's video, we're going to be creating the full-on anti-pallet build for the Killer Freddy. This build causes the survivors to get salty with how the match went, even with their mistakes. But the build is Brutal Strength, Explode Favor, Enduring, and Spirit Fury. The add-ons that we're going to be running are Paint Thicker, replaces the Dream Snares with Dream Pallets, grants 7 Dream Tokens. The auras of survivors interacting with the Dream Pallets are revealed for 6 seconds. Then the other add-on, which is Red Paint Brush, Plus, as all the survivors that start the trial inside the dream world, survivors are unable to wake themselves up by failing skill checks. Before we do get into this video, what do these survivors complain about? Is it A, a tunneling, B, camping, C, teammates, or D, other? Put them in the comments below. If you want to watch these matches live, come check us out on Twitch, where we stream on Tuesday to Saturdays around 5 or 6 p.m. BST. And if you want to use code STORM at Cynic Energy, it'll be much appreciated, and it'll be supporting me as a content creator. Hopefully, you do enjoy the video. And remember, smash that subscribe button for daily YouTube content. But enjoy. All right, here we go. A full-on anti palette build for freddy and we'll see how this all plays out the last two games have been interesting i don't know how i feel about this one oh, they kept winning. i thought they went in a locker i was about to check that locker i had to care for them toolboxes as well a free hit i'm actually gonna hit the mega i think as well get them injured they have got med kits so they are gonna be healing quite a lot Interesting popping from the Megan. I almost had that as well. I thought she would have went the left side, and that's why I was curving into. And then they messed up. There we go. But the Ada has healed. I do want to break this again. Now I'm going to teleport over there often. Right, uh, I need to get to the far back one if I can. Might be able to cut that one off. Someone else is on this generator. Yeah, they stayed on it. It was the Ada. He's got some big balls, I would say. But we have got three other people injured as well. And that person's going to go into second. Why does people do that? Thank you. Uh, what's happened to my hand? Guys? What's happened to my hand? Bro, what the hell just happened to my hand? <laughs> Bro, what the hell? <laughs> what happened? What happened to my hand? I couldn't swing for a sec. Did they see it when you put the fake pallet down? They could see me place it down, but they run into it most of the time. Got another one there. That was so weird. I've never had that bug before. Uh, they went into this window, but they do see me uh, do it. I thought they was gonna run into me, do a couple of 360s and then dead hard. Some people have been doing that. But if I can protect that turn, I'll be all right. Try and bait them off the gen, but I don't think anyone's here. But they've gone for the save they did from that gen. I didn't mean to do that. It worked out. Oh, I'll just go for the pickup. It's not three gens anyway. I was hoping to find another person to be honest. Oh, the summoned my hook. There we go. I don't mind uh, switching targets. There we go. I'll switch targets. I'm going to go after that person. They're in a way in tunnel and no. There is a fake pallet here. That's dead odd. I love a dead odd. But we have got blood favor. Oh my god, it actually blocks up the fake pallets as well. But they only see it if they're in the dream world. No, my blood favor! God damn it. Mm. 
It's going to make it a lot easier for us later on. I love when that happens. Nice fake. Oh, I did that a little bit too wide. Could have maybe had it. There we go. Uh, did someone go into second? Like the Ollie, the Ada. We can have a different. Wow, they are doing the gens. I need to pick it up. I do admit, like, the arc rank out of the gens, like, quite quick. There's a BT hit. I'm actually just going to cut down on this one. Put a little bit of pressure on them. They have got like one generator left. So if they want to help, they can help. Go. They might even take protection it in a sec as well. I've got Ada here. Someone's on that generator. I need to put pressure on him as much as possible. Right, they're going back to that gen, most likely. I have got like a free gen here if I wanted to hold it. I just need to find these two people. One's already healed. I do see you in that bush, my friend. I was hoping the, uh, through it. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on him. And they're there, and one's there. So at least I know where they are. Oh, I thought I got rid of this pallet. Okay, stuck on infant. How was that not a hit? Have they got picked up unbreakable maybe? I don't know which uh palettes are fake. Alright, let's get rid of this uh, boon. I think this one's on death book. I uh, they've healed. If I get rid of this person, we might have a better chance. I just realized what the person's name is. But it's only on the mid journey would make sense. Oh, I've got the Michaela. The Michaela's on death hook, right? So I've got Spirit Fury ready as well, so I can use that straight after. I need to get this person down, like, now, like, for that hook. She did have dead eye, remember that. All right, I need to go check one of these gens. They have healed as well. It's an interesting game, this one. A lot of fun, this one. Tense. But in a way, I do have a free gen, which is really good. I don't really have a lot of time to like waste. Shot. If I just keep them all injured, it'll be perfect. They are all on death hook. And I'm pretty sure this all the pallets on this side of the map is gone. Oh, let's go uh, quickly check this turn. Oh, she's there. Getting all locked onto it. Uh, they do have toolboxes. Bit furry. Get free here. So I'm just putting a lot of pressure on him at the moment. There we go. Don't want too bad. Like, 
The Meg's been picked up again. I'm going to put this person on hook. Got another one out of the game. And then what I'm going to do is try and take the Meg out, maybe, or try and keep them both injured at the same time. That's our plan. But we're doing a lot of pressure at the moment with keeping them all injured, even if they are, like, crank out the gens. That's been interesting. And I have a feeling that one of them is going to have, like, adrenaline as well on top. I could select for the 4K if I really wanted it as well. Yo, Daddy, how you doing, buddy? It's a fake pallet. All right, uh, the problem is this person's going to, like, try and get for hatch, most likely. I'll have to have a look if they've got, like, any offerings for hatch. Ah, right, there we go. Everyone's dead. There's no offerings for hatch or anything. So it is literally race to hatch at the moment. Oh, wow. Got the hatch spawn right here. Perfect. Satan, how you doing? Yeah, the Meg wasn't even looking behind her. I don't know if I'm going to win this one. Uh, she's there. They have uh, played really good this game, I would say not too bad at all they're in the dream world now so they're gonna like struggle with the fake pallets the last way i went for a sec um resilience maybe i would say i am a swinger <laughs> This one does have dead art, I, I remember. That's why I stood out the pallet. Because they would have dead arted for the pallet. But they all played really good in this game. Didn't see about it all. Have a drink of sleep. And they all played really good. I just spawned on the hatch, which was really good. New team. They all played really good. But everyone was free dropping the pallets. They used all the pallets randomly. Free. Free gen. A, a dead zone. Now they are noobs. They were um, cranking out the generators though. At least they weren't hiding in a corner self caring. But they did make like the free gen like as a dead zone. Yeah, but it is useless. They were still doing generators and objective. I was just bouncing around and taking out the pallet. Hit and run play style. Wrong way. I come. I made dead zones. I kept people injured. Was it wrong? They leave the gens in dead zones. True. But you did put yourself in that free gen. And the free jot due to spirit furry and enduring and maybe still learning the game bro 29 didn't know how to play against freddy it could be it's not good thank you and uh good luck with the uh, future games hopefully uh the next one is better yeah they got a little bit salty but we'll have a look at the perk hyper focus balance landing off the record and stake out they had a commodious so this is a gen rush build uh circle healing adrenaline urban invasion and dead eyed this is a person that's complaining urban invasion interesting i am will off the record any means necessary and bond they had a make it any means necessary smash it sabotor and calm spirit good old and make it like a very good end but there was like pre dropping pallets they messed up i protected a free gen which i held and it worked out but if they stayed on that one gen and if I went bouncing and playing my hit and run play style for Freddy, I think we would have lost. I was panicking that there was like, oh, the gens are flying now. I need to pick it up. I need to play like this. I need to change my play style up a little bit. And one of them was kept hiding. But I, I did slug. I think I did turn on that one stage. But overall, it was a really good game. GG to them. Hopefully you did enjoy the video. Remember, if you did, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe while you're at it. And let us know what you thought about this video. And before we do end this video, if you want to watch us live on Twitch, we do stream from Tuesday to Saturdays around 5 or 6 p.m. BST. And if you want to use code STORM at Sneak Energy, then feel free. It'll be much appreciated. More information and links will be all in the description below. But thank you for watching. Remember to stay safe, stay awesome, stay lovely, and enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on where you are. And peace.